mixing between men and women is prohibited. What is ikhtilat? Ikhtilat is when a man can see a woman and sit next to a woman and they are mixing. This is prohibited in the Sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all four schools. But they end up having ikhtilat in the gatherings and even in the maulids. With regard to ikhtilat, some people, they have a desire to involve women more into everything. So what they say is that in the time of Rasulullah the women would pray at the back. So why do we not allow the women into the masjid? They can pray at the back. This is true. They did pray at the back. But please mention additional things. There was number one, there was a different entrance for the women. So the women would come in from a separate en entrance, which is known as Babu Nisa in Al Masjid al Nabawi. Secondly, why do you not mention that the women would wear burqa, the face veil? All the women would come with face veils. Thirdly, why do you not mention that Rasulullah said to the men praying at the back that their reward is decreased and the worst of men are at the back of the rows because they are easily able to observe the women. Fourthly, why do you not mention that Rasulullah encouraged the women to pray at home? He said you have the reward of jama'ah at home. And when you attend the masjid, you only have one reward. Fifthly, why do you not mention that a Sayyidah to Aisha radiallahu anha said that if Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam observed the behavior of the women after he passed away, he would have prohibited them from the masjid. All these things are not mentioned. They just mention the women prayed at the back. And sixthly, why do you not mention today that the women, they do not wear the burqa, they wear makeup, and they come out with makeup, and they dress in attractive ways, tight clothing, all of this is bid'ah in the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not prohibited. Bringing us to another thing, which is that women are prohibited from visiting the graves. This is the fatwa in the Hanafi school. And it is the fatwa in the other schools when it leads to fitna. That the women, that they visit the shrines, all of this is prohibited in the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But today, we have Sufi guides that permit women to kiss their hands. We have Sufi guides that will shake hands with women. All of that is prohibited. They say the shaykh has no shahwa. If the shaykh had no shahwa, you are insulting him as a man. It's a, having shahwa for women is a praise for a man, not dispraise. Because that is how Allah has created a man, that a man is permitted to marry one wife or two wives or three wives or four wives. But instead of marrying two or three or four, what are these people doing? They sometimes commit zina billah. When the Sharia has permitted you to take two wives or three wives or four wives, why are you performing haram by allowing women to come and visit you alone? All of these things. Then, a bid'ah in the deen of Allah is when the women sing in front of men. Because if you check even a simple work like Maraq al-Falah, what, do they, what does Shurun Balali mention in Maraq al-Falah? That the, uh, the, the Sawtul Mar'ati Awrah. The voice of a woman is Awrah. He mentions this is when, why the Adhan is prohibited for a woman? Because when you do Adhan, you beautify the voice. Beautifying the voice like singing or doing Adhan or doing Tilawatul Quran in front of men. All of this is what is meant by Sawtul Mar'ati Awrah. The voice of a woman is Awrah. But now you have people permitting women to sing in front of men. That they will clap and sing. All of this is bid'ah in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 